Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today we're going to look at websites that can help students to develop their speaking skills and their pronunciation skills. And the nice thing is these aren't only websites that we can use for learning English. These are also going to include other languages like Spanish and French and German and in fact a few other languages as well. Really hope you like this video. I've got some real gems in it. I'm going to try and show you some of the practical things that I do to study on my own and develop my speaking skills. So you're going to see real examples. As always, if you like the video, please like it, please share it, please any comments or questions, leave them in the space below and please follow my channel. This first website I'm showing you is really impressive. In, in fact, I have to say it's one of the best finds that I've come across for ages, particularly for speaking. Now, I've set it up so that I'm studying Spanish and the instructions are in English. So I've set the instructions to be English, but over here on the settings, I've set the language I want to learn to be Spanish, okay? Now, I've got a free account here, so I just signed in and created an account. First thing that I can do that I love is that I can play these sentences and then I can record myself saying the same thing. So we've got a, an example here and I just click on it. La altura real del edificio es más alta de lo que imaginaba. And then I can click here and just say la altura real del edificio es más alto de lo que imaginaba. And see so, la altura real del edificio es más alto de lo que imaginaba. And la altura real del edificio es más alta de lo que imaginaba. Okay, so it's really interesting for me to be able to do that and then I can click on and do another sentence. Ella tiene un trabajo de tiempo completo y se ocupa de los niños. Okay, so again, él tiene un trabajo de tiempo completo y se ocupa de los niños. And I just do él my recordings. Tiene un trabajo de tiempo Absolutely wonderful that you can do that and do lots of practice around pronunciation. And the nice thing is, is if we come over to the settings here, you can very quickly change the level. I was using advanced there. I'm a fairly good user of Spanish. Uh, and, you know, I could have set that to another language or to uh, another level as well. So that ability to be able to play a sentence and repeat it for students to work on their own, I think is really useful. Now, Speechling also has a few other things and I'm just going to point them out as well. So if we come up to the two toolbox, another thing I really like is this dictation, and I've been using this a bit as well. So the idea is you're going to listen to a sentence, in, in my case here, in Spanish, and then you are going to write it out and see if you got it right. So it's obviously developing your listening practice skills rather than your pronunciation and speaking skills. Well, let's have a listen. ¿Cuál es la nueva política fiscal del presidente? Okay, so you've got to write the sentence here. I'll quickly write it out uh, for you. So I've written, ¿Cuál es la nueva política fiscal del de presidente? I think it's del presidente, actually. Let me check that again. ¿Cuál es la nueva política fiscal del presidente? Right, so then I can click on check answer, okay, to see whether or not I got it wrong or right. ¿Cuál es la nueva política del presidente? What is the president's next tax policy? So it seems that I got that one right. Then I can click on next and go to su the next sentence. Su proviene de su arduo trabajo. Okay, so I love it. I love the idea, again, that we're getting lots of exposure to language and then we can, in this case, we're writing it. But obviously in the first one, we were repeating and we were actually recording ourselves and listening to it. Now, another section that seems quite interesting, especially for students working on their own, is this multiple choice quiz section. And here what you've got is some sentences which you can hear and you can actually uh, let's click on it Mi madre ha vivido ahí durante cinco años. all right and then i've got to choose the translation now some people obviously are a bit against translation i used to be quite against it but these days i've actually become quite positive about translation particularly when you're working on your home it's not perfect but it does help you really a lot and uh, so what i've simply got to do here is choose the correct answer from the selection below so the correct answer here would be this one. I click on it and then I do believe I tu go straight on to the next cine. question. So I quite like that. It's automatically corrected. You go straight on to the next one. And again, we can listen. Okay. Tu papá alguna vez va al cine? Okay. And then again, you would choose the correct answer. Click on it and then again, go on to the next Soy capaz question. De convertirme en médico algún día. In fact, I don't even have to click on next. It seems to just simply jump straight on. So that's the, that's the multiple choice question. 
question part and I think also that's really interesting now just for a, a quick second just to point out a couple of things if we go over to the section look at the languages you can practice here I mean for me it's absolutely brilliant because the language that I've studied before are Spanish and French but the only other one that isn't there unfortunately is Polish but you've got lots of the main languages there and this website has got lots of other things on it as well really worth having a look at now I haven't made so much use of this, but I'm just going to point out a couple of other things on Speechling. The first thing I want to point out is these flashcards. And what we got here, we can either hear a female voice or a male voice, and we're just basically hearing a sentence and we've got to translate it, and then we can click and see if we got the translation right. So for example, let's say I'm going to listen to this first one. Tu coche funciona? Does your car work? And so I'm going to click on the translation here and then it's going to give me the translation. I actually got it exactly right. So, and then you would go on to the next one. Yeah, so you, yeah, so I got that one right. Great. So come on to the next one. And then again, I can listen to it in either English or Spanish. Quiere ver la película conmigo? Do you want to see the film with me? And then click over and it's going to say, see, give you the translation. Now, I haven't used that a lot myself uh, so far. What I've been using this site for myself a lot is practicing just to get back my kind of fluency and my accent, which I've lost after 20 years of not living in Spain. Uh, but I love this website, and I, I, I do think that for students working on their own, this could be really useful. Now, there are a couple of other tools on there that I'm not quite so impressed with. For example, this one here, which is a fill in the blanks. What I'd really like to see here is that we could listen to the sentence and then we would write in the missing word. But rather, what we do is we look at the translation and we've got to try and guess what the word is here. So for me personally, that's not such a useful one. I'm not so keen on that and I'm not so keen necessarily as well on the listening practice, though it does give you lots of exposure to the language. And basically, you're going to listen to sentences. Is Emily from Japan? So you listen to a sentence and then a couple of seconds after you get the translation, but then afterwards it shows you that sentence. Yeah. Okay, here. Mira mi nueva falda. And it kind of builds up. So it's basically a dialogue and it's building up sentence by sentence, which could be quite useful. Um, you know, again, in terms of language exposure. So that's a great website. And the great news is, of course, that that website can be used to learn lots of different languages. Now, Google Translate is really misunderstood, and I'm going to try to show you some of the advanced features in Google Translate, but also exactly how I use the site. And I'm going to use an example from my lesson today to show you what I do. So I've already got some words from today's lesson that I want to practice. The first one is it makes me lazy. So I'm going to write that out into in English. All right. It makes me lazy okay and then it gives me um for example let's say for example drinking alcohol okay so i'm going to try and make this into a sentence Co yeah alcohol sorry alcohol comma makes me lazy okay and in fact i don't need that yeah makes me lazy so i've got beber alcohol me da pereza so this is the the word i'm actually wanting to practice pereza me da pereza but i've written out a sentence using that uh uh phrase and I'm now going to say that and to save it I click on here okay I'm going to do a few more so the second word was bouncing for some reason I've never learned that word in Spanish and it came up in one of the conversations so that he was bouncing the ball is the sentence I'm written which is estaba botando la, la, la pelota so botando here is this is the, is the word that I want to practice but again I've put it into a sentence and it's always easier to write the sentence out in my own language first and then get the translation and then I click on that and then it adds that again to the and I'm just going to do one more so in this third one, it's the it's the verb to refute, refutar, refutar. Okay, so I'm going to do, he completely refutes what you have said, and that comes up in Spanish. And again, I, if I want to, I can actually even listen to it. El refuta completamente lo que has dicho. El refuta completamente lo que has dicho. Okay, so I'm putting that into my collection. So I've now got three words, three sentences. Now, in reality, I'd normally have about seven or eight. And, uh, you know, it is really useful to be able to click on that button. Now, if you click on the button here below, you'll now notice that those three sentences have been saved for me because I'm logged in to my Google Translate. In other words, I've logged into Google and I've clicked here and gone straight to Google Translate. OK, so what I can now do with those three sentences is that I can put them into Quizlet. And this is what I love doing is taking these sentences and put them into Quizlet and then I can practice with them in Quizlet. So all I need to do is click on this button here, which will then export those three words. So it'll just grab those three words for me. And I'm just going to click on that button here to import them in. 
So you can now see my sentences. First thing I'm going to do is just quickly don't need these when you kind of get this uh, here. I don't need to put these sentences including this these columns here. I just want the, the sentence in English and the sentence in Spanish. So I'm going to delete that. So quickly go then just delete that column then right click and, and do the other sum delete that column and then just make that wider okay just so that the whole sentence is, is actually in its box that's quite important now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import those sentences and as I said I'd normally have about eight import those sentences by clicking on control a to select them all I'm going to copy them all and now I'm going to come over to Quizlet, and you'll see that I do this all the time. Uh, this is really the way that I practice the new vocabulary that I want to learn. And then I click on Create, and all I need to do here is actually just import them. Best thing is to put so new sentences and today's date, which helps me to kind of fourth of November, and in this case it's Spanish. Okay, uh, I use this a lot in Polish as well. Click here, paste in my words simple as that just paste them in now I've got the sentences in Spanish and English all imported automatically now one little thing to do is just to make sure that it, the system knows exactly what languages you're using so in this case just click here and make sure it picks up English and picks up Spanish now we're done now I'm going to click on create once I click on create I'm not going to worry about that and then I've now got the sentences in English and in Spanish and now I can play all these different games with them now not all the games are going to work let's try with flashcards absolutely brilliant so drinking alcohol makes me la lazy so bebe alcohol me hace pereza because that's what I was learning I can click it over beber alcohol me da pereza me da pereza so I got it wrong not me hace pereza me da pereza okay so you get the idea now one important thing is you can go to your options Okay, if you just click here, go to your options and set, for example, if you want to answer in Spanish or English. So I often start by having the sentence, first of all, in Spanish and then just re and then do it in English. So let me just show you what I mean by that. It's always the audio on for English and the audio off. Sorry, audio on for Spanish, audio off. So I often do it this way around. So if we go to the go back now, go to the next card. So what I like, card, what I like doing is first of all is listening to the sentence in in sorry, got that wrong. Let's come back again. Apologize. Come back. Sorry, I didn't maybe I didn't save it. The answer with English. So at the beginning, I like to Beber answer with English. Me da pereza. So I got the sentence in Spanish, and I've not got to produce the sentence. I've simply got to work out what the translation would be. So drinking alcohol make, makes me lazy. Go to the next Estaba one. La he was bouncing the ball. Go to the next one. El refuta completamente lo que has dicho. He refutes completely what you've said. And if I don't, if I'm not sure that I know the translation, I click over and check. El refuta completamente lo que has dicho. And now what I would do once I'm kind of familiar familiar with the sentences so I've done the translation from Spanish into English I would swap it over because that's much more much more difficult for me to listen to the sentence in English and then reproduce that in Spanish so that's the way that I work with Google Translate I've tried to show you two tools that I think can really help you uh, with pronunciation the great thing again here is that you can always repeat the sentences so this is really good if you're say doing this exercise and you say he completely refutes what you said el refuta completamente lo que ha dicho and then I can turn el it over refuta completamente Lo que has dicho. And I can listen to the sentence. It's really great for that. I really hope that's been useful as always. If it has, please like the video. Please share the video with other teachers and students as well. Please comment if you've got any questions. And of course, please join me on my channel. Thank you very much. If you're looking for more videos, please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more content, uh, especially we've got a section on language learning that could be really useful to you. If you'd like to keep up with my work, keep up with all the new videos, the new articles, the blog posts, the webinars, the short courses I run, etc., then please sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll be updated on all the new stuff. A lot of it is free. And the other thing to do is to sign up to the YouTube channel, which has nearly reached, I think, 10,000 subscribers now. Don't forget to click on the bell to be updated. Finally, if you wanted me to do a presentation at your conference or a workshop, for your organization then you can contact me on my website and also if you were looking for training either a one-to-one -one or one-to-many I do do online training I have my own virtual classroom which is absolutely fantastic it's really interactive and I can run courses that way and thank you very much